I, I just got a Shappy pretzel. Mark picked them up today. This is the best thing I've ever eaten in my life, Shappy. Oh, I can't believe this. Also, how have we been friends with him forever and he never made a pretzel for us? Did you always make pretzels? What's happening? This is the greatest <laughs> thing of all time. Busy Phillips, just one of many big name celebrities who are obsessed. I already broke off a piece of my Shappy pretzel. Adam Shapiro's Philadelphia so style pretzels made right here in LA. I got to visit Adam and his adorable wife, Katie Lowe's, who you know from Scandal, to find out more about how Shappy pretzel was born. Take a look. <laughs> Okay, guys, you know how people are doing really clever and creative things during quarantine? I heard about this, I guess you could say pretzel company, from my husband's cousin, Rebecca, because she goes, you have to visit Shappy's Pretzel. And I said, who's Shappy's Pretzel? She goes, it's the cutest thing. It's this guy, Adam Shapiro, and his wife, Katie, who you'll know from Scandal. And they're the cutest couple, and they decided to start a pretzel company during quarantine. And she said, all you do is you place your order online, you drive up to their house, and they bring you out delicious homemade pretzels that they're making in their kitchen. There he is. So tell me more about this pretzel business. It's a total passion project. And like, I'm Philly. The whole point of this was just to make my son these pretzels. And then I, I realized there are no Philly pretzel recipes online because there's like two families that make them in Philly. So I had to you, go online. And you know how like when you're looking up recipes, you know, there's all the comments. Sure, yeah. And a lot of the comments are like, no, no, in Philly, we don't use that, we use this, you know? And I would write it down, write it down, write it down. And I finally like, after a bunch of months, like made my own recipe. Philly transplants here in LA, what do they say? It's like an emotional experience. Have you seen tears? Yes. 100%. No. The moment they smell it. And I always say, it's like, you know, the pretzels are delicious, but we're not selling pretzels. We're selling, like, hugs yeah. from home. Hi, Katie! We're selling hugs from home. <laughs> we always sell hugs from home. I love you. Welcome to our kitchen, everybody. It's really exciting and fun and, like, you know what? We're a couple of actors, and a couple the of actors making is do. a little bit slow at the moment, and we have a toddler. So, what better to do to spend our time than you to to become this incredible entrepreneur? <laughs> entrepreneur, <laughs> pretzelpreneur. I drove up here and you were dancing for your oh, customer. Like when the kitchen's going off, it's like he's bit lasting. It's like boys to men, Motown Philly, it's like anything up. that's like a Philadelphia oh situation. God, Will, Smith. Will Smith. Will Smith. Will Smith. I gotta get Will Smith some, some pretzels. pretzels. I gotta get Kevin Hart some pretzels. There's some Philly guys I haven't gotten to yet. John Legend's had him. I. Lee Mike Daniels Jackson's had, had him. Lee, Lee Daniels, Daniels has had him. Cooper. Bradley Cooper's had him. I literally got like an email from like Spielberg's office needing like 40 pretzels and I was like, pretzels? <laughs> That's the way it is. Who would have thought? <laughs> I've been trying to get in Spielberg's office for 25 years. <laughs> Pretzels. <laughs> we did not see this coming at the beginning when it was just sort of like a joke and let's see what happens. It was mostly it friends was, and friends of friends. It was always a joke. On my Instagram, mm -hmm. I always make up fake stuff. Like I have this Oreo podcast that I'm on the 1200th episode of, but I've never recorded one episode of this podcast. <laughs> so when Seacrest was uh, hosting with Katie on the, the Ryan, Kelly and Ryan show, I said I would send them some pretzels. And so I make like a little logo and I put it on a bag and I send them the pretzels just for him. Just like a fake company. Sure. And this guy. Leave it to Seacrest. Leave, leave it, it to Seacrest. Seacrest. Turns out he's got the gift of gab. So the whole thing and sort of started as a joke and has rolled and rolled and rolled. And now we are there. Are, at the beginning, it was just people we knew. And now it's not. Everybody. And I love the people we don't know. But like, yeah, we got to get out of the house. <laughs> It's got to get like a need, different address. We don't need John Ham creeping on our house. Yeah, like you know John what I mean? Ham, slow yeah, down, slow, slow okay? Like, don't be creeping up on me. Yeah. Anyway, I love you, John Ham. Yeah. You guys are lovable, Thank and you. you're, you're lovable. lovable. Yeah, Shappy Pretzel Company. Yeah.
<laughs> I love I, those two. I love them so much. Yes. I, you know when you have one of those days, you're like, I wasn't. Just, I was just feeling kind of. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. And after I spent an hour and a half with those two, I I, I want to make my marriage better, my life better. <laughs> my they are the best. So what do you guys think of the pretzels? Which was so sweet of Adam to drop love the by. The pretzels so soft. Yeah, so here's what they did. They were in their home, but as you could tell, Katie was like, okay, enough, Get ready up. to have another baby. So they moved to this area uh, in Studio City, Gourmet 47. You I can know where that free, is. yeah, That's they right live. Colfax. Look, these are your neighbors. Right? I'm not going to tell it's you where Colfax they live. It's Colfax and Park. So go to shoppypretzel.com. Get yourself some pretzels and support those two because they are doing their thing at Shappy Pretzel. Thanks, Adam. Really good. And Katie. Thank you guys.